Hi everybody, Mrs. Bodishan here. So today we're talking all about triple point phase diagrams. Here's what it looks like. Um, it's just a graph, so don't be scared. You can see that our pressure is on the y-axis and our temperature is on the x-axis. We're gonna have three lines and they're all going to come together at one central point. Um, these lines are really separating out states of matter. So we have solid over here on the left, liquid is gonna be at the top, and then gas is gonna be to the right. Really what this is saying is, if you fall in a certain temperature and pressure in this section, it's going to be a solid state of matter. In this section, it's going to be a liquid state of matter. And anywhere over here, it's going to be a gas, okay? Now, let's go ahead and look at what we do when we cross these lines. So you can see if I go from a gas to a liquid and I cross this line, no matter where it is, right here, right here, it doesn't matter, that's gonna be condensation, right? from a liquid to a solid, or again, it doesn't matter where on this line I'm crossing, I'm going to be freezing. And the same thing from a gas to a solid, we know that's deposition. Now we can go the opposite direction for that. So we can go from a solid to a gas and that's sublimation, and then a solid to a liquid and that's melting, and then a liquid to a gas and that's gonna be vaporization. Just remember it's anywhere along that line, okay? Um, now, I did go ahead and color code these for review purposes that we have exothermic are blue and then end, uh, endothermic is going to be the red phase changes. So we need to be able to recognize this triple point where all of our line segments come together. And this is a unique and very rare thing where we have all three states of matter occurring at the same time. So just imagine this. Uh, imagine like a little... Um, puddle of water, so liquid, right? And you have a little bit of ice cube floating around, so you have a little solid in there. But at the same time, that liquid water is also boiling. So we have a gas vapor occurring all simultaneously at the same time. It is very rare, but we can do this. It is possible. So what do you do with these graphs? You answer questions. So let's go ahead and try a couple and make sure we understand what the graph is doing. So how much will you have to heat up the unknown substance from its current state for it to melt? So here's the current state right here. We can see we are in a solid. Even if you didn't have these labels, solid, liquid, gas, hopefully you know by now that that would be a solid, right? It says it's in its current state. In other words, we're not going to change the pressure. The pressure is at one atmosphere. We are going to maintain that one atmosphere, but we need to know how much will you have to heat it up until it melts? Well, to go from a solid uh, and melt it, we go to a liquid. So it needs to actually touch this line in order for it to melt. So if we go ahead and we look and we can see, okay, yes, we're at one atmosphere and we start at 25 degrees Celsius, we need to go all the way to the liquid. So we need to end up here at one atmosphere still, but we need to hit that line for melting. So we need to go over, but by how many? This is roughly at 37. Now, you guys, this is an estimate, right? Because we're jumping from 25 to 50, so a rough estimate is about 37. So what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna subtract. We're gonna do 37 degrees Celsius minus our 25 degrees Celsius where we started, and we end up getting 12 degrees Celsius. So that's how much we would need to increase the temperature in order for it to melt. Let's try another one. How much will you have to increase the pressure of the unknown substance from its current state to make it condensate? So here is our current state right here. And it says we're going to increase the pressure to get it to condensate. In other words, we need to keep it the same temperature this time. So our starting temperature is 100 degrees Celsius. We're going to keep it there. But in order to condensate a gas, we need to go to the liquid. So it's going to have to hit this line and we need to keep it at 100 degrees. So we're just going to go straight up, <clears throat> which is going to be right here. You can see our starting temperature. I'm sorry, excuse me. Our starting pressure is 0.25 atmospheres. So we need to increase the pressure now, maintaining the same temperature. And you can see our new pressure is roughly about 0.78 atmospheres. So again, we're just going to subtract. So 0.78 atmospheres minus our starting 0.25 atmospheres. We need to increase the pressure by 0.53 atmospheres in order to get it to condensate at the same temperature, 100 degrees Celsius. Let's try one more. At what pressure and temperature does this unknown substance exist 
in all three states of matter. You guys, in other words, what this is asking us is what is the triple point, right? So our triple point is where they all three exist, which is going to be right here where the all three lines intersect or come together, right? Now it's asking us for the temperature and pressure. So if we go ahead and go over, you can see we're roughly about 0.55 atmospheres. And then if we go down, that looks about, what, 48 degrees Celsius. That's just a, a rough estimate, right? Because we don't have all the little lines, but that is a good rough estimate. So that is going to be where our triple point is for this graph. You all, if you like this video, um, please go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe to see more about all science things. Thank you all for watching. Bye, everybody.